What's up guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today we've got a very exciting episode ahead of us. I'm, I'm stoked too. This is going to be fun. So first of all, we are returning to the snow. We're back here in Alaska. I figured it was about time. You know, we, we haven't been here in a while. We've been spending a lot of time in Russia. We'll return eventually, but I wanted to switch up the, uh, the setting a bit and uh, we are going to be checking out the final frontier of Alaska. You guys can see we've done three out of the four. We are missing Pedro Bay. So to be able to get to Pedro Bay, you have to go through Mountain River. River, and I believe this little tunnel up here, I was doing a little bit of recon before I started this. I think this tunnel is going to take us there. Doesn't look like there's any blockage or anything like that. I'm hoping we can just kind of drive straight there. I guess we'll, uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, it should be good. I'm excited to check out a new area and we are going to be doing so in style. So for the first time ever in this series, we are going to be checking out a mod, all right? So mods are officially supported by the developers. They want people to mod. They want to add in cool new vehicles and features and stuff like that to this game. And uh, we're going to be starting off light, okay? This is a pretty cool mod, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of crazy stuff out there. So if you guys enjoy the mods, you want to see more of it, then I'm happy to make that happen. But uh, let's go into our truck store here. We're going to be checking out a scout. Obviously, we're going to want to go get some recon done and hit the towers and get the upgrades and stuff like that. And uh, check... Uh, Check, check, where is it at? Where is it? Oh, it disappeared. Where is it? Shoot. I think I'm, okay, hold on. I think I might have, oh, we're, we're, we're going to go back to the main menu. I think I might have to turn it on. You might have to turn it on every time you load up the game. So we're going to go down to mods. We're going to check this thing out. Yeah, the uh, the Duramax. We're going to go ahead and, I think I might need my mouse. We're going to switch, switch that to on, and we're going to hit continue. We should be able to buy it in the store. Bam, here it is right here. So this thing, I guess it, it doesn't have a, a teaser image. It's gonna cost us $48,600, I'm down for it. Let's purchase and deploy and see what this thing's all about. Dude, that is sick. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I love it. Can we customize it? Oh, wow, okay. So we, we can, oh, Mo Power, baby. $16,000 is gonna give us more power. 6.6 .6 liter LML Duramax with r, &R rods, delift and anodized 15.51 compression LML. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. I mean, I, I, I guess I'm down. Let's let's go ahead and put a $16,000 engine in there. Gearbox looks like we can go, uh, we've got the stock. We can go with this or this. Higher gear, Allison, for high speed. I mean, I'm, I'm always down for high speed, so we can do that. I'm gonna do a 14 inch lift on this bad boy. We've got 37 inch Toyos. Do we want to get something even bigger? <laughs> Bro, what? All of these are all excellent. So let's just look. Let's just look at what we like the best. To be honest, I'm, I'm going to go with this one. The, the 40 inch Toyos. Bam. Looks good to me. Winch. We've got a worn winch on there. Uh, the Xeon 12S. We can put this thing on. I guess I'm, I'm down for the stock one. We've got an engageable diff lock. Frame add-ons. Do we want some bed junk? A Yeti, a tire, and some gas. Yeah, dude, that looks pretty sick. Dude, this is crazy. I didn't think the mods were going to be this uh, this intense. So rear bumper is stock. Front bumper is stock. Rims are stock. Colors. Looks like we can change up the colors a little bit. To be honest, I, I feel like I either want white or I want black. Or I want like the, the solid stock. I think I'm going to stick with the solid stock black. I feel like that's going to pop off the snow in the background. So, uh, bam. Bam. We've got it. How big is the uh, how big is the, the the fuel capacity on this bad boy? Sixty liters. Hopefully, it's not going to be too uh, too hard on the fuel. But uh, dude, this thing actually looks super super sick. It's even got the snow up on top of the hood and everything. Oh, dude. All right, take the parking brake off. Go ahead and start up that uh, that Duramax and whoo. She's whistling, baby. Oh my god, <laughs> bro, what? When that thing hits second gear, that is outrageous. This is a rocket, bro. Listen to her. She is purring. Okay. So what we're gonna what we're gonna wanna do is we wanna go, which one do we wanna go to actually? We wanna go to Mountain River. That's this one all the way up here. Let's go ahead and hit that. Looks good to me. And uh, here we go. I almost feel like our our engine that we chose is a little a little bit too excessive. Bro, so how, how are you? How are you gonna rock it out of second gear like that? We we can hardly even turn. We're gonna have to be we're gonna have to be really really careful. Probably gonna be pretty useful here in the snow though. Dude, this I mean this thing looks good. To be honest, I almost I almost 
I, I'm gonna recover it. I, I just I feel like that's way too not even realistic. So we're we're gonna go in customize engine. I'm thinking we just keep keep the stock the stock Duramax. We could go tunes. Um, I, I'm just I'm gonna keep it stock. Let's see let's see how this thing handles. Pretty respectable so far. Shift into second. Still have a bit of a speed boost there, but nothing crazy. I just I I, I feel like. I definitely feel like that's going to be a bit a bit more appropriate. So, yeah, we're going to roll out, baby. We're going to get over to the other side of the map. We're just staying on roads here. It, it handles really well on roads, that's for sure. It's handled the snow pretty well so far as well. Dude, this thing looks so sick. Are you kidding me? But they, dude, they've... I mean, they've got like legitimate road trucks, so they've, they've got like... There's a Raptor mod, there's a Cybertruck mod, there's all kinds of stuff like that. They've also got like monster trucks. They've got some of the, the bigger trucks in this game just on like massive tires that are completely ridiculous and outrageous. Like, we, I don't think we're gonna do this every episode. Ooh, be careful here. Good thing we got, uh, got some big old wheels to, to kind of soften the blow there. But yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna do this every episode. I just, I feel like every now and then, you know, every couple of episodes, it might be kind of interesting to try to, uh, try to mix things up, do something a little bit different. Could be, could be kind of fun. Okay, this this thing is, this thing is hard to drive on the ice. That's for sure. I wish we could have got some changed tires. That would have been really useful. Be interesting to see how she handles when she's out in the, uh, out in the deep snow and stuff. I would imagine it's probably gonna be pretty good. Let's check out the inside. Oh, dude, this looks great. Wow. Whoever modded this, this is legit, dude. I feel like I'm actually in a Chevy right now. Chevy gang or die, baby. I don't want no no fix or repair daily. I don't want no Yoda. Chevy. Real man's truck. Seriously though, dude, this this thing is this thing is pretty dope. We're sliding all over the place and it's a little bit a little bit too fast on these main roads, but this thing is dope. Hold on a second. Let me let me let me get really far away from it and take off. If your smoke don't look black like that, are you really a real man? I didn't think so. Look at that, dude. That just blowing clouds, bro. Vape Nace, my goodness, just absolutely decimating anybody who is behind us. I hate when trucks have those big, black, beefy smoke clouds and then everything stinks and stuff. I don't know. I, I guess, you know, if it was your truck, it's kind of a cool look. But at the same time, like, bro, you're kind of killing Mother Nature, so it's it's not... It's not really, not really worth it. Making our way up here. Want to get back inside again. Looking pretty good. Dude, I mean, this is sick. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is really sick. So here we are. We made it to the gateway. We're going to make our way to, uh, to Mountain River. And then we're going to go across Mountain River and to Unknown Lands. Oh, doggy. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's, let's not do that. I would prefer not to go off that. <laughs> it's, you know, I, I always think about how slow, like, our Azov is and stuff. And I always think, like, man, it'd be nice to go a little bit faster. I wish this had a little bit more get up and go. But I feel like the lack of the get up and go is what really kind of, kind of assists you in this. Having this much speed, and this isn't the upgraded engine. Having this much speed is, is almost hard to manage, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's fuel this bad boy up. Get a full full tank. Ooh, we just took some damage right there. I honestly wasn't even looking at those. So we're uh, we're we're almost there. We're almost. I'm I'm hoping this is the tunnel. I'm hoping it's not not blocked or anything like that. We have uh, we have yet to check out this area, so let's see if we can uncover some goodies. Man, this thing really whistles, huh? Very unique sound, there's no doubt about that. Say no eco boost, baby. Here we go. This is gonna be the tunnel to Pedro Bay. Never been here before. This is uh, the second to last area that we've never been to. I think there's one more in Michigan we haven't done. So let me know what kind of a scout vehicle we should use for that one. But uh, here we go. Let's see what we've got going on. So it looks like we've got one, two, three, four towers. We're obviously gonna have some some upgrade parts some hidden upgrade parts, and all kinds of things to check out. In fact, I, I do know there is a, a hidden part up here, so I think we're gonna go check this out. Jeez, that is a, a very, 
a very swirly road. So we're gonna wanna come to this, we're gonna bang a left, we're gonna come down through here, bang a right, go up here, and then make our way to the top of the mountain. From there, I think maybe, maybe do like a counterclockwise circle, we'll go down here, go to this one, go to this one. Do we have, let me check our global map here, let me, let me see, there's no garage out here. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any fuel stations, so we do kinda have to watch out for that. Probably could have. I mean, wait. Do we we have we have fuel in the back. Yeah, we, we've got we've got 350 50 gallons in the back, so we'll we'll be fine as long as we don't end up uh, end up wrecking the thing or getting it stuck. We should be good. I'm gonna be honest, she does not like these icy roads. I do like that. Like, you know, obviously it's it's a little fast and a little ridiculous. Is this just straight ice through here? This is just straight ice. This is gonna be interesting. I like that it's it's a little fast. And like it's 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 obviously good, but it's not outrageously good. You know what I mean? Like you, oh, it's a pole. We're good. Meant to do that. But yeah, like you, you can't get chain tires on it and make it like this perfect specimen. Like it's it's good in its own right, but it's also still somewhat somewhat realistic. All right, so we're gonna take a left through here. That was kind of fun, dude. I don't think we've seen an, an iced over river. At least not, not one that big before. So that was great. Let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to accept this. Not necessarily going to do it right now, but we're at least going to accept it. Let's see how this thing looks going through the snow. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! Look at her go. So we do have a high gear and a low gear that we could potentially use if we need it. Coming through here, we want to take a right. Let me back up a bit. Dude, this thing is just so aggressive. Like it's the, the first the first tap of the gas just goes. It jumps. Whether you're in forward, reverse, anything else. The first tap of the gas and then that that gear change from first to second. Ooh, this is this is sketchy, bro. We're gonna be able to make this. Woo! Just tug that wall. I tried putting it in first person there, and that was not our not our best idea. Oh my goodness, bro! We are just straight climbing a mountain right now. Look at that. That's that's a thumbnail if I've ever seen one. Uh, get that good angle. Maybe get up a little bit more. Hold on, let's let's get up more on the edge. Maybe like hang a tire off or something. Enough of that talk, bro. We gotta we gotta worry about getting through here. Just blowing thick black clouds all day. Love it. Getting into this deep stuff, we're just gonna keep these tires spinning and we are gonna try to get it. Dude, this is a sketchy, sketchy route. There is no doubt about that. Almost to the top, you can kind of see it up there. Shoot, took a little bit of damage. Do we have, hold on, let me see. Do we have repair? We do have repair points. 950 repair points. All right, that's that's a little, a little OP. So we're gonna be able to repair up. We're gonna be able to be able to fuel up. The one thing we won't be able to do is, is flip ourselves over. We don't have the autonomous winch. So we gotta watch out for that. Gotta be a bit more careful with that. And look at this, found our first hidden part. There's two of them on this map. What do we get? The Westline V16 M2450, the Caterpillar 745C, and the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. Cat 745C is obviously a beast. The, the twin steers are also a beast. I think we're going to be checking that out very soon, if not the next episode. I, I, I think that thing is, is supposed to be one of the better vehicles in the game, so we're going to have to check it out. So here we go. Now we're going to go down. I'm thinking, I mean, we're going we're gonna to go back down. Let's go to here. Bang a left. Bang a left. Bang a left. And then we're going to go out through here and try to get to this watchtower. It's kind of out there in the middle of the lake, so I don't know if we're going to have a direct path to it or not. But we're gonna try our best, and so uh, we just gotta gotta kind of do our thing. Can you imagine trying to do this in first person? I can't, I can't see anything. Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. All right, so we just gotta go back down this thing, but in reverse. This part's sketchy, dude. We're just full throttle through there because it's so deep, and then all of a sudden you're on rocks where you've got good traction, nice flat, flat surface. You, if you don't let off the throttle early enough, you're gonna go just shooting off the edge there. This is our last little corner. Beautiful work. Oh, oh, look at those high beams, baby. Uh-huh, that's what I'm talking about. Now we can see everything. I can see my entire future, my entire life before my eyes. So bright. 
All right. So we made it off. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff, boys. So far, so good. It is nice to have... Ooh. Might get a little stuck here. Let's use a, a winch. It is nice to have a little bit of speed in a scout. Think about if we were trying to take our... Uh, take our... What's it called up that mountain? The... the Tuz 420, the tank. Think about how long that would have taken us. I feel like the speed of this is somewhat similar to that of the uh, of the Jeep. I feel like the, the, oh. Well, this is unfortunate. I feel like the con is, is comparable. Do you guys think, you guys think we can go up and around that? We definitely would have been better off to come off here and just kind of go down this. Gosh, that was that was silly. All right, we're just we're gonna have to go back out this way. We're gonna go through this water. You know, this is this is a little bit concerning. I don't see any sort of aftermarket air intake here, so we aren't gonna be able to go too deep. Looks like this isn't deep at all, so we're we're fine. But I was gonna say if this if this gets too deep. We're gonna be in uh, we're gonna be in big trouble. This is actually a really a really nice little detour here. I don't even know that we have to fix that rock slide. Like I, I think I think most of our trucks could have made it through there. This deep snow is no joke. Even though we got these big old 40 nittos on here, they still they still kind of feel like getting stuck a little bit at times. Maybe put her down in low. See how she does there. Just kind of kind of slowly crawl through. Ah. Oh. Dude, I just, I, I love, I love watching the creep. I love watching it just throw snow and, and, you know, kind of just be, be a machine, baby. All right, so we made it to the other side of that, uh, other side of that roadblock. What's over here to our right? Looks like that's going to be one of the, the, you know, kind of like utility points that you could pick up materials and stuff like that. Oil fields. Probably going to be dropping off more materials there than anything else. Warehouse over to the left. I'm thinking, uh... uh the left is probably going to take us there. Looks like it's out in an island. Or on a, a peninsula, I'm sorry. So it's it's going to be easy to uh, to get to. Not going to have to cross any crazy bridges or anything. It's, it's just going to be available to us, I hope. Got lots of... Woo! Be careful there, cowboy. Go ahead and put her in low so we can slowly crawl through this stuff. But yeah, we should be good. Shouldn't have to have to cross any big water water things. I hope. Dude, this thing is great. I feel like low makes a big difference with this thing. It's a lot slower, but she gets through anything and everything. Looks like the tower's through there. If we just kind of... I mean, I think if we if we cut through here somewhere, we might might be able to grab that. Just gotta cut through the trees. It's gonna be a little deep. Snow's gonna be not necessarily our best friend, but it looks like the Duramax can handle it, dude. We're only I mean, we only have a 60 liter fuel tank, but we're only using one to one and a half liters a minute of fuel. Oh, we aren't gonna be able to make it through there, are we? That's unfortunate. Shoot. I really hope we aren't. I hope we aren't stuck here. Really hope we aren't stuck. Come on, baby. There it is. We finally got a tree all the way back there. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to find a better spot to pass through. Can we? Okay, we can. We can go over there. Yeah, let's let's do this. Hit the reverse a bit. And we should uh, we should be good to go. Throw her back in low. We should be able to kind of climb our way out of this. Back into reverse. Back into low. We made it. All right. Look for a look for a gap in the trees that we might be able to get to. This is unfortunate, dude. There's not gonna be ah. There might be a gap up in here. I think if we go through here, that might. That might work. We'll see what happens. I feel like the hitboxes might be a little bit messed up for this thing. We're gonna send it and hope for the best. Come on, girl. Make it through there. That's a tree that we should be able to run over. That's what I'm talking about. She got her done. Yes, sir. 
that's what you love to see. Go ahead and winch us on out of there, and we made it to our first watchtower. Let's see what we've got going on in the area. See if there are any upgrades or anything. Look at that. Never give up. Duramax power, baby. So we've got a, a weather conditions mission, mission over there. Nothing, uh, nothing really too exciting so far yet. So I think this is going to be our next objective. If we go out here, probably ill-advised to try to cut through there. It looks like there's a trailer we could probably discover just to get some XP. But we're going to go back out. We're going to bang a left here and then go along this, and that should take us right to our objective. Sounds, uh, sounds good to me. Throw an auto. We should be good. And let's, uh, let's go do it. Ooh. So, took, taking some damage. Where are we going right now? Where's the actual road? The road is straight ahead? How do you want me to get through the trees? Why are there trees in the middle of my road? Let me try low, see if we can make it through here. All right, we'll take it. Back into auto. Discover this trailer. Maybe not, oop. What's behind the trailer, do you guys think? That actually looks like a path through. I think we're gonna be able to make it through that. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh yeah, dude, that's that's a nice that's a nice little path through the woods there. Into low, low and slow. If we get stuck out here, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> it's gonna be my own problem. We could have easily gone around the the hard way, but now nah, we're good, bro. That was clean there. I'm liking this thing. I'm enjoying it. I'm liking something different, something new. So yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. I mean, I <clears throat> the thing is, is like I wouldn't say we've beaten the game at this point. Like, there's definitely a lot more missions, and there's ooh, whoa, whoa, Nelly, whoa, Nelly. Definitely a lot more missions. There's still vehicles to unlock. Honestly, we we've unlocked most of the vehicles you find in the world. The only vehicles left are ones that you actually buy. I'm taking a right here. Um, I, I think there's two or three more we need to unlock from exploring the world or doing missions. So really, we've uncovered most of the locations in this game. We've, we've you know, uh, uncovered most of the, the cars and vehicles in this game. So I feel like it's time where we can kind of start branching out a little bit. Like, I didn't want to do mods until we had gotten until this point because I was like, well, I want to keep it legit. I don't want to give myself an advantage. Having this as our first scout vehicle would have been insane. But now I feel like we have so many specialized tools. Like, it's, it's a little bit... A little bit more more appropriate you know what I mean it's it's not it's not as much of an advantage that we're giving ourselves and it's more just for for the fun of, of switching it up so you guys will have to let me know what you think I I don't know we're gonna be able to make it through this Oof. hopefully we can at least at least get out of it Oof. this 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 is a, a big oof oh there's there's a, a a pole right there. We're good. Okay. It definitely doesn't like that. I feel like our, our hitbox is off. Let's see if we can get through this one. If if not, we can probably go down to the left. Nope. Doesn't like that. Alright. So, we're gonna have to go back into reverse. Pull our winch. Hope we don't get stuck on the rocks down here. That could be a bad thing. Come on, baby. Put her back into low. Release our winch. This should give us plenty of room, right? I was a little bit worried about when we came up that backside. Yeah, our, our hitbox is about two feet taller than our actual roof. So we've got we've to keep that in mind. But we made it through, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And we are back on dry, dry ground, back on pavement, back on the grind, baby. So let's see where this tower is. Looks like it's over there. We can... Whoa, what just happened? We just spun out a bit. Looks like it's going to be over here. We've got another little frozen lake we're going to have to worry about. So let's go slow. Maybe put her in low. We're going to be able to climb these rocks. Oh, bro, what a beautiful sight. With the blue lake in the background. Oh, there it is. We made it, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Take a look at our map. So we've got an upgrade part right here. Looks like uh, this is going to be our next one. So we can we can hit this. Just kind of bang on down the road. Should be should be nice and quick. These were close together. Just love the the blue of those lakes, dude. That that looks so good. So here we go. This is gonna be our route to get to the next thing. 
Do you guys think we can make it through there? I think I see an opening in between these two trees. If not, there's plenty of trees to tow ourselves back out. Just get close enough to, to grab that grab that guy. Raised for the Royal BM-17. That's our favorite truck that we're using currently. That, my friends, is a heck of an upgrade that we just got right there. Oops. Ran into that. Put her back in low. We can come back out the way we came. We've already determined that this route works ish we're good sometimes the tree branches in this game are nasty bro all right and we're off the next tower should be up here fairly close see where it is dude getting going fast like that really makes me nervous it's gonna be up here on the right Ooh. look at that look it out is that a, that's not a frozen lake though that that lake is not icy we we could not we could not drive on that so let's let's make sure we're careful. I'm gonna go ahead and let's uh, let's let's recover everything. Oh, not recover. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I always do that. We want to repair everything, and then I'm gonna say let's let's just go ahead and, and refuel. Why not? All right. Look at that. Full tank. Back to normal. Did a little little you know field upgrade out there. Did some maintenance on her, and now we're gonna be back good to go. We got some. Uh, Got some cold ones in that Yeti. Bro, can you imagine how cold a Yeti would be if it was out here? Like, Yetis will keep stuff cold in Florida for like, you know, four, five, six days sitting in the sun, in the Florida sun. Think about how cold a Yeti would be in Alaska, bro. That's that's like, you know, below zero in that thing. All right, where is this? Uh, I mean, I guess we can mark the tower. Looks like we aren't actually going to want to go through these trees, though. We're probably going to want to follow this road all the way. Once we get around, it should should hook around and, and kind of lead us right to it. It's really interesting to be back here in Alaska, dude. I I, I love it. It's uh, it's definitely easier territory than than Russia ever was. That's without a doubt. Like I'm I'm thinking about trying to drive some of our our bigger trucks through here. Obviously, a scout's going to do a good job, but trying to drive some of the bigger trucks, I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. Especially some of those guys, we could get some chain tires on them and stuff. I, I, I think, I think they're gonna rip right through this, dude. I, I think it's gonna be great. All right, so we just want to follow the road all the way up through here. Should be able to make it, no problem. Oh, look at that! Just, just healed ourselves, so we might as well do a lot of extra damage there. I'm gonna try to do some of this in first person, just to kind of get a, a bit of a different vibe, bro. The, the, the. Rear view mirror is much more clear than any other vehicle in this game. Usually the rear view mirror is kind of sketchy. This one's perfectly clear. That's interesting. I like that. All right, so let's check out what we got here. There's an upgrade straight in front of us. They're just making it too easy for us. We've got some missions down there. No other upgrades that we've missed. All right, so we're going to go to that. Then we're going to go out here. We're going to go to here. We're gonna go around, so we're gonna to wanna to go left. Let's make sure we know to go left. So we're gonna go here and then go to here and then just kinda of follow this around. We're gonna have one more tower to hit and then there's also one more part to hit. I believe there's a, a hidden part right here. So you know what, let's let's go to here, then to here, and then to here. I've got the little, little guide next to me, so uh, all right. Sounds good, we got a plan of attack. I feel like this has been our smoothest, our smoothest, uh, Scout mission yet, without a doubt. What do we get here? Raised suspension for the Ankh MK38. I mean, raised suspension is one of the best upgrades in the game, always. Don't know what that vehicle is, but it's probably going to be pretty darn useful. So, job, uh, job well done. I'm excited we got the BM17 raised suspension, dude. I will say that thing's already pretty tall, and it's a little bit sketchy going around corners, because that thing does have a little bit of speed to it. And it makes me nervous at times, especially with like higher frame add-ons, but I think I think we'll be fine. Just gotta drive careful with it. It's definitely gonna make it a lot more capable. Ooh, look at our rear end here, dude. That is uh that is not good. Alright, so we're coming around here. We wanted to take a right. Whew. Gotta try to stay out of the snow as much as we can, but she she kinda handles it, bro. Not gonna lie. She gets her done. So taking a right there. We're going to come to this. There's the factory. It should be back here. Be careful. Don't flip. Somewhere back. Oh, there it is. All right. 
Let's not get stuck here, Trev. We're gonna put her in low. We're gonna try to be as smart as we can about this. Let's see. That, that looks like a death trap right there. Lots of rocks and stuff. This is sketch. Grab this real quick. Advanced special. Improved gearbox variant that offers a full range of gears. Cost of higher fuel consumption. Oh, wow. That's for a ton of vehicles. Dude, this has been amazing. I wasn't expecting this to be as, as, as you know, profitable as it has been. We've gotten so many good upgrades. Now we've got to decide where we want to go. Do we think this links? I mean, we got nothing to lose. Let's let's just go for it. We'll see. I, I'm nervous because there's water here, obviously, but you, this, this could stop and you could have a road around it or something like that. I find that kind of unlikely. I would think that if there was going to be a main road, it would kind of run through the factory. But let's let's go check it out. It can't hurt to try. Can't hurt to see see what we have have waiting on the other side here. And that big black mist of mystery on the map. So here we go. Keep on pushing through here. Dude, see this would I, this would be so so nice just to have a big old lifted truck driving through this stuff. No stress, no no worries. You know, you, you don't really have like a, a big trailer or anything to worry about. You're just kind of going off road and just kind of doing your thing. It's a modern. Tr oh, we do have. Oh shoot. Do we want to try this? I was gonna say we do have a road, but it's not exactly a road. It's more of like a a random crossing. I guess we can give her a go. But yeah, you've got a modern truck with modern amenities and some nice AC and nice, you know, music available and stuff like that. Some good speakers, high quality. If you get stuck, you can call OnStar. It'd be great. Oh, here we are. This is it right here. Perfect. I was just kind of driving, but we made it, baby. The final one. Let me drop her down into low gear here. Pull in. Let's see what we've got. Our final watchtower, number four of four. This was a small but extremely productive map. Let me see if we have any other upgrades anywhere. It looks like um, it looks like that's a wrap on upgrades. All right, I love it. That was awesome. Honestly, I I really enjoyed that. Like I I feel like the scouting missions sometimes can't be all that exciting. I feel like having the the, the Duramax here was pretty dope. Good old good old Chevy Duramax power. Just kind of riding through the snow and doing our thing. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see some more mods from time to time just to kind of mess about, I'm down. I definitely still want to do like missions with the normal trucks in the game. But I just, I feel like sometimes if we threw a crazy monster truck in here and just kind of messed around and, and saw if we could do any sort of mission, I, I feel like that'd be kind of fun. But um, ultimately it's up to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm thinking we're going to hang around Alaska for a little bit. Like I, I mentioned before, I kind of want to go check out the, the Twin Steer. I've heard that thing is an absolute monster and it's super unique. So we might grab that. I think that's in Michigan. But, uh, you know, we, we might grab that and then we'll bring it back here. We'll run some missions and, and just kind of try to, uh, to progress the story here. But if you take a look at our contracts, we have a, uh, we have a, few, a few missions left. Just a, a small handful. There's quite a few. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.